Okay, it's just a short video to show you what Invoice Thread is. It's a web based application that allows you to post images and slides as a slideshow and allows you, as a moderator or teacher, to comment and post questions and allows the recipients or students to comment and answer the questions uh, for little homework assignments or something like that. So we'll just sign in. Okay, and I'll first show you one that I have created and give you an idea of how this thing works. So, click on this link to geography. Okay, we just let it play. First question in this aerial photograph. Name two modes of transport that can be seen in it. Second question. Illustrate a suitable site for a shipbuilding industry to be located. And the final question. Illustrate a suitable site for residential development to be situated. This is teacher, this is the student. A residential development could be located here. Or could be located here. The shipbuilding industry could be located in this area here. Or if the water was deep enough, possibly here. This is another student. Two modes of transfer visible in this photo are roads, like these here. And obviously boats. That seem to be moored here. And this breakwater and breakwater and pier here would indicate that this is obviously a harbour. So, that's a good illustration of how the teacher quotes a couple of questions and how many students can reply and post their answers to it. Now I'll show you how to create. How to create. So as I said, we just upload images or slideshows. So we'll upload two images for this. So, A, B. Upload the two of them. Now here you can change the order of the images, or move them around, depending on. So I just let them upload. So, we'll go to comment, and I'm still waiting for it to load. So, before I go this, I'll just show you publishing options. So you allow, for a general one, you allow anyone to view it, you allow anyone to comment, and you want to moderate the comments. This ensures that students, if an assignment is set over one or two nights, that you have the control over whether their comments are shown. So, i.e., that means they can't copy answers. So, one student puts up his question, all he sees is his comment until you decide it's time to show the whole class everybody's comments or one or two people's comments. So, save those settings and playback options. So, we can decide the time between the two photos. So, we just go. Purpose of this just five seconds. Um, make sure the full screen when opened by that. Um, and let's sort of save that. Now, this is my first document picture. So I'm going to post a question. I'm going to go to comment. And I can type a question. So I can just say. That. So that's up there now. Now I can I can even record a webcam coming if I want. 
but I record an audio one as well. What, in your opinion, is the more objective source? Document A or Document B? So, what, in your opinion? Uh, now I go to the second page. I'm going to be uh, post a comment here. Uh, document you is more useful to historians. I will save that. So, now that's our slideshow made, assignment made, and now we go to the end where we will send it in an email to the students. So, we will click send to an email. So, let's open up my email and I will put in two accounts I've already created. So, we will send this email off to the these particular accounts, which will be students. Now, if you don't have it, uh, your email open, you can just copy, copy, press that copy link and copy that URL into your email. So, I've my email, and email should have arrived. Open. to a voice track. And I'll log back in as a student. So, I will sign in. A student. This. And we'll just paste this URL there. Now you can see on the left hand side there the type comment. seconds or whatever time we've left between each image and we'll move on to the next one. And now I am going to and I will record. Very useful thing is here is right so document B is much more useful to historians as this passage here demonstrates. So it's very useful with that, that pen is very useful for just highlighting things in questions and in answers. I'll make it again any responsibility to correct answers. Uh, we'll close this and we will log out the student and then show you how as a teacher you will see the answers come up. So it's So we just wait for voice trails to load up. And it is this one here. And this yellow box here indicates that I have a comment that I haven't seen. One year comment. So we'll go to it. So I'll just comment. So two. This yellow box around here indicates I have.
they have can now just comment. So by clicking that button there, I've now all students to see that answer. Get hold and everything until everybody had, had answered, I just comments and no student can copy another student's answer. So that's that completed. Just close that. And I hope this is giving you a good idea of how VoiceRed can be used.